Hi. Um, I was just thinking, since everybody's introducing themselves on videos, which I thought was absolutely fantastic because it gets to know each other, I thought I'd introduce myself a bit because I don't think a lot of you know me personally or know anything about me. Um, well, my story started uh, in 2008 um, when I, we decided, me and my partner, to try for a baby. Um, I had deferred my university place for a year to try. Um, also, my nana wasn't very well, so yeah, so we uh, decided to go for it. Um, and I, well, there was nothing happening basically, and this was over a year, and I was doing everything. I bought the clear blue monitor, the um, pre seed, we tried, we tried everything, and um, it got to the point where it was like, ended up arguing, and so I know how you feel being there. Um, but I had it a lot less than a lot of you. I mean, a lot of you that have been trying to send me. I mean, I don't know how you do it, but I take my hat off to you. I mean, you're such lovely ladies to stick in there. And a lot of you recently have been getting the big fat positives. And I'm so happy for you. And it, it makes it puts a smile on my face to know that you get a big fat pop, pop, big big fat positive, should I say? <laughs> um. So yeah, um, I did finally get pregnant after a year and three months. I found out after Christmas, um, so I took a pregnancy test. I you see, I was actually bleeding, um, and then I stopped. So I'd had two days of light bleeding, and I thought it was my period, and it was on off on off. So I took a pregnancy test, and I found out I was pregnant. I was, we was over the moon, obviously, because um, we was booked into tests. Um, Anyway, uh, I got, I was, was all happy, I got to nine weeks and I ended up bleeding and um, I went in for an examination which was really painful um, they basically said my cervix was closed so they didn't know but anyway I went back for a scan and they basically confirmed it was a miscarriage and I have never had the worst pain in my life, it was, it was agony so I know how you feel people that have had miscarriages it's the worst bit I mean I remember just sitting there crying I didn't eat for days I just completely shut myself off and I think that nearly wrecked my relationship because we was just not talking to each other so if you're going through it or have been going through it talk about it talk about it as much as you can because get your feelings out because I w don't ever let it wreck your relationship because it nearly did mine and it's it's awful to thing to go through. Talk to somebody if you can, even if it's not your partner. But yeah, um, over over that, um, uh, about five months later, um, I actually got pregnant with my little boy, um, and the same thing happened. Not miscarriage, but I started to bleed, and um, I was absolutely scared, senseless, and like, it wasn't just like a little bleed. It was quite. It was red blood, so I wasn't down my mum's actually. And um, it was it was awful, but um, I told the mid uh, the midwife sorry, and um, she said that it's normal. And anyway, uh, I got to twelve weeks, had my scan, everything was fine, and then um, I uh, went to forty two weeks <laughs> with my little boy, um, and he was six pounds seven ounces, and he's a little terror now. <laughs> he's um he's, he's three and a, three and a half nearly. Um, and I had him in February. He was due on 25th of uh, January and came, decided to come February, so that's 7th of February actually. Um, yes, yeah, so he was my little lifeline, my little, little rainbow baby, as you may say. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's like the cutest thing ever. Um, and then obviously, I think it's two and a half years down the line, we decided to try for another baby and it took us three months now that is some miraculous <laughs> stuff but um i was i thought the basically the same was going to happen again um but it didn't this time though i didn't really try and um, we just sort of i just sort of came off birth control and thought if it happens it happens do you know what i mean <laughs> what happens happens basically and I felt pregnant. I didn't even think I was, and I didn't even realise my um, period was late until a week late, and then I went, oh, okay. 
we'd not even been really having sex a lot, so, yeah, so, uh, I mean, I'm one of the lucky ones with that, so, I mean, if I could, if I could, um, make you all babies, I would, <laughs> I'll pop babies out for you if I could, <laughs> that would sound really weird, but I would, for all of you people that, like, you ladies that haven't got babies or can't have babies, or having difficult I wish I wish I could I really wish I could because I feel so sorry for you as well and I just my heart when I'm reading all your stories it's just oh it upsets me sometimes I, I want you to all experience motherhood either through adopting or having a baby of your own or anyway <laughs> so yeah I had my little girl and um she was born five weeks early so she was premature uh she was luckily she was Five pounds fourteen ounces. Luckily, she didn't have to go to the baby unit. She stayed with me, and um, she's nearly one now. Uh, this Friday, she shall be one. Scary stuff. Um, yeah. So she's my little princess, bless her. Um, yeah. My my little boy is named Stefan, and my little girl is named Khaleesi. If any of you recognise that name, it's off Game of Thrones. Uh, and Stefan's from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> so yes mummy does a bit nutty um so yeah that's basically my story um oh yes and i set up the group in 2010 i think it was i think it was 2000 was it even i think it was 2008 2009 or 2010 i can't remember i think i think it was 2009 actually because um i think it was after my miscarriage and i just felt awful and i just wanted people that had been in my situation to support one another and I think that's the best thing, just talking about it. I didn't really have anybody around me because I was quite young when I started trying to conceive. I was 18 so I've always wanted to be a younger mother. My mum was 34 when she had me and I, I said to my partner I didn't want to be that age. And there's nothing against being that age, don't get me wrong, but I wanted, if I could, be a younger mum. So yeah, <laughs> so I set up the group and it's just been getting bigger and bigger ever since with all the lovely ladies that you are. Um, and I cherish every single one of you that comes in to my life and my group. I love you very, all of you very, very much. So, yeah, that's about me. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free. <laughs> I love questions. <laughs> but yes, um, anyway, I think that's it. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Well, night night. <laughs> Bye.